Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hmm. Blasphemy. Any other translation? Who has any other translation, please? What does it mean to blaspheme? Filthy communication. I need to dwell a bit here. Filthy communication. Yes, sir. Filthy language. Unprofitable. Idle. Non-productive. Hallelujah. Did you know that the Bible says by your words you are condemned and by your words you are justified? Many people have brought themselves where they are because of their words. Hallelujah. Every time you look and you keep telling yourself, I I move at the money and by I you keep confessing that thing and you wonder why you are always behind. See, you know, there is there is there is an attitude and it's a false sense of humility we must kick out. Believers are afraid when they are blessed. You are only afraid if you went to the shrine. You buy a new car and people say, Ah, God has blessed you. And then you say, ah, yes, I, you, If you had a trampoline in the car, not. You see, believers do all kinds of things. You buy a new dress, you are afraid. Let me tell you something. Stop being afraid of the blessings of God. Because many of us filthy communications. Your child was the in school and they say, Is it true? You say, Kai, this thing, Nima Bonseni, but what is the meaning of that? It was the best. Say, I don't want to offend another person's child. Ah! Is it your fault? Hallelujah. They increase your salary. Did they increase it or not? Don't talk as if it, 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 a lot of people are afraid. And you know why they are afraid? Because there are people who are always waiting to receive, like shark. Once you tell them God has blessed, they say, yeah, I couldn't learn to remain that one. You, There are people, and this is the year where you will repent from being a nuisance to many families. There are many people who are a nuisance to families. Let God bless them for all kinds of unwarranted visitations. Somebody sows a wicked seed and forces another family to reap it. Are you getting blessed tonight? Wait. Filthy communications. Filthy does not necessarily mean vulgar. Anything that is not in line with the word of God. If God says you are blessed and you say you are not blessed, that's a filthy communication. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You look at a lady and say, Toh, ale kao areo mugani. That's a filthy communication. It's unprofitable. It's ungodly. The Bible says, Let your words be seasoned with salt, that it may minister grace to the hearers. Hallelujah. And young people, we have a lot of work to do because we are the ones who are most vulnerable. Right now, there's Blackberry. You can ping. There's to go. There's what again? Name them Twitter, Facebook, what else? All kinds of media things that culture the languages of people. And so, there is every new slang for every new season. Madness everywhere. You see people calling and incurring curses upon themselves. You don't know the origin of the words that many people use. And let me tell you something. The Bible says, do not say before an angel, I made a mistake. Because as you declare, so it will happen. Hallelujah. Many people have brought crosses upon themselves. I will never speak anything that is not in line with God's word. Let me tell you something. This is the year that you will look beyond your present happenings. Begin to declare what God has said, not what you are going through. He said, though you slay me, yet will I praise him. Let the weak say, I am strong. When there was darkness, God did not say, hey, yeah, darkness. He said, light. Hallelujah. Filthy communication. 
this is the year when you look at certain people and your children are not doing well in school and you look at them and say i prophesy if i gave birth to you i prophesy there is an anointing upon you there is a mandate upon you rise up to that which is in your spirit filthy communication hallelujah bless you the lord increase you is well you are lifted people call them church words well if it's producing results is that not the most important thing do you know there are certain people that if you stay close to them for 10 minutes your spiritual fire will die down as soon as you leave you go to visit them you go back crying and say why why did i visit i wanted to cook why did i not just concentrate and cook in five minutes they have given ten insults to everybody and anything around them you see i am like that you must change this is why we are praying there's nothing like i inherited it hallelujah praise god i'll never use a communication that is not consistent with god's word let me tell you a big secret anytime you are angry keep quiet because when you allow your flesh to go before your spirit Cain will rise up and speak before Abel and you will say things that later you ask yourself and say see how I've closed a door for myself because of filthy communications you had a dream and in the dream you saw your family laughing that's the time to wake up and say in the name of Jesus according to that which you have shown me you know why God has stopped revealing things to people they don't respect what they receive from him there are many people here I trust that God will revive dreams and visions in this ministry there are many people some of you everything that will happen God will show you but we, we don't have respect for it hallelujah God is showing you and saying in the month of March, this church will receive a lifting. You get up and say, ah, well, at least I know that it's a dream. And you end. And when it doesn't happen, you say, thank God I didn't say it. Do you know that if you had it and spoken it into being, it would have come to pass. How many people have seen blessings in the realm of the spirit that never manifested in this realm? God is trying to... See, every time you see yourself having dreams, there are many of us you can have the same dream exactly as it happened three times four times god is speaking you are not doing anything you saw people crying in the dream you got up and you were laughing when something happened you say ah and i saw it what did you do are we getting blessed tonight filthy communication your communication must be consistent with God's word. Listen, Satan has designed the system to force you to speak wrongly. Because you get up, you just get to office and somebody just annoys you. For no reason. You are, and it's that day you did your devotion. And he says, love God and be good to all men. And the first person you meet in your office, you gave him work two weeks ago, he comes and says, Oh God, what did you even say I should do? You say, you mean you have not done it and I'm to submit it. You feel like slapping the person. But that's when the activity of the Holy Spirit. See, I'm telling you, if all we take the Holy Spirit to be is just tongues and falling down, we have missed out a great portion of our spiritual growth. Spiritual maturity is the capacity to absorb pain and stand and say, rather than acting, I let the Holy Ghost direct me. It doesn't mean you are not human. It just means the Holy Spirit is upon you. The people came and spoke nonsense and they wanted Jesus to see. Jesus just kept quiet and was writing. He gave the Holy Ghost time to reveal things to him. And he said, he who does not have sin should cast the first stone. And the Bible says they were convicted from the eldest to the youngest. And they left. Did you know that sometimes being quiet is the greatest victory you can give over certain people? Being quiet. They say, this madam is talking about you. What do you have to say? He said, well, bless God. Let's pray. God is faithful. And the person lives with a disappointment that will warn them never to come back and tell you that thing again. Hallelujah. 